I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Take, Take on, on the world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go Back to the mansion! Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. 
If I'm late, I don't get a Tesla bronze. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? What was that?
Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping Labrats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! Through the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogen! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works. I can't believe it. And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Uh oh. Order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? 
Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we gonna get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs! I've got the plans. Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them? Yes! Down the toilet? No, through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay, Come over here! It's your old pal, Dr. Fred! Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here. I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. There's something in the chronogen.
this beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. I don't think that would look better white. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Wow, this is loud. Aren't you weird, Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Mm, no, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm talking out. So what are you up to these days? Don't worry about me. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye! Peace be with you. Hey, want to see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh... My Pony Express stamp. You ruined my Pony Express stamp. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump.
know, he should really try to find some outlet for those. Negative feelings. Get out of here. Hi, Ed. Don't push it, man. Don't make me do something I'll regret. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. Pony Express stamps. Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentiment. Hey, don't touch my stamp. Hey, be careful. You almost hit my stamp. Jeepers!
already open. Sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. Ha! Gotcha good, old buddy. Perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? Hey, that's friggin' hilarious. Why don't you go show your mama now, cause I'm busy. Maybe this one. Good Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we novelty good salesmen know how to have a good time. Gotta run. Ciao, kid.
Never mix, never worry. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? <laughs> Probably another rejection slip. Oh well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. are coming. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. You didn't expect me to fall for that old gag, did you? You have to get up pretty early in the morning to fool this old joker. In fact, I invented disappearing in. There. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. Nice? These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. So, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. I don't get it. Get lost, kid!
Those founding fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. Great hat, man. Later, dude. Mr. Hancock, dude? Yes? My coat. Get away, you loyalist. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes, it's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? I would, but it would only rain.
it's closed. Say, hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. What's this? Mm, help wanted, moronic drone, mm, assist genius, yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh... So pick up your lab coat and get to work. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. The water's all sudsy now. compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. guided my hand with such care. Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a 
failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. It's just a cold chimney. Excuse me. Yes? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh, yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. 
But as you can see, there, oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said come down from there at once. Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. You must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me. Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh, sit. Stay. Good boy. How'd you get out? Get back in there! I wish Dr. Tentacle would stop losing patience. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right.
I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Did a little pick me up? <coughs> Must open safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. Nineteen sixty eight, nineteen seventy four.
Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. No, it's another 561 AB. Make a detention state. What is it? Are you guys brothers? At the IRS, we're all brothers. I'll just be moseying along. Keep your nose clean, kid. Is that a W390B verbal spending report? No, it's another 561 AB. Make a detention statement. Let's see, it's 101 99957. is red. See Red Ted.
thought I heard something. Everything okay in there? Well, try and keep it down, okay? make that mistake again. <laughs> Oof! Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Like there's some kind of rodent down there. It's already open. It's bad to put metal in a microwave. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. <laughs> 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 
You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. I've already thawed him out. Besides, he won't let me insert the meat thermometer. This ought to warm him up. I don't think I can put that in the chronogen. feel about humans. Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Like That's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. Jolly good prizes to be won. Why, the grand prize is a dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Be seeing you. Yes, perhaps I can regale you with tales of my adventures. Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a soul friend. What are you, uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If you have a human you want to enter, you'd better get it down here. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Hey, hold that thought. I got a boogie. Keep in touch! I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. wrapped friend I really should go now call me sometime okay to go now. Everyone's raring 
to go. Let's get this show on the road. Ah, here it comes. My finest hour. Chattering, mummy. The judges will think you're chewing gum. And that sound is giving me an headache. Oh, this will never work. babbling about. You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick! Now how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Errol, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. <laughs> What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Uh, the mummies has improved. Yes, but it's dull, flat, stringy, lacks body and control. A human's hair should stand up, not stand out. If only it was a little bit better. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that? Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. When are you guys going to judge best smile? 
Oh, all right. I like the quiet one with the big T. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Judge best left. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy, are my suction cups tired. <laughs> oh, classic. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agree. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yeah, our work here is done. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. May I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange, I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. You big baby.
Okay, who was the idiot who started the fire? I hope we can get back to work soon. Uh, excuse me? Leave me alone. I'm too depressed to talk. I wonder if they put the fire out yet. I don't think I can forge Dr. Fred's signature. The legal language is pretty thick. I doubt if I could fix it. Sign, doctor. Sorry, if I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? I offered Purple Tentacle a bribe and he took it. Where did you get that kind of money? I used one of your checks. Brilliant! I'll just stop payment on it tomorrow. Exactly. All I need now is your signature. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. 
Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! All mine! If only we had some nasty weather! Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. Get close to him. This ought to be good. What do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. Another specimen. He's not even cooked. Hey, cutie. What brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? 
I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big deal. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Hey, look, a skunk. <laughs> Come back here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? It's the same generator that was in Dr. Fred's lab. Well? Look at that sucker go! He just keeps running and running and running. But it's all hooked up down in the lab. Hmm? like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. 
Hey, Ben. What do you want? Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. Excellent. I need that for my super battery. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister? Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history! No, there's no fuse! So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything! You just push it! The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now! Then push the kite into the air, alright? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Now! Oops. What part of the word now didn't you understand? Uh... Look, it's very simple. I say now, and you push the kite. Comprenez-vous? Got it. Marvelous! Now! We. She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. <laughs> Run for your life. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now, so I can study the results. Wish me luck! I never got your name! 
It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. I don't think I can put that in the chronogen. I don't think I can put that in the chronogen. I don't think I can put that in the chronogen. I don't think I can put that in the chron. That might mess up the tape. I don't think I can put that in the chronogen. Flush my one chance of getting out of here? Yeah. Flush my one chance of getting out of here? Yeah. Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post light speed delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. Can we bring back my friends now? We repair the primary device, but before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well. Then we can bring back the what's his name and who's her face. Hoagie and Laverne. Yes, fine specimen.
according to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sludge Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Ha <laughs> ha! You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same stall. Didn't you see the fly? Some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now wait just a minute. It's Green Tentacle. It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojohn. Together, we will conquer the world. You tend there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge o -matic. to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha. Run for it. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Shh! Maybe he won't find us. You who? Where are you, human? Uh-oh. Take that. And this. 
drat. Where'd he go? Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans amount to very little. <laughs> Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. I've already won. Just what is it you have against humans, anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. Sounds like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, really. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? Why don't you zap Dr. Fred if you hate him so much? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Surely we can talk this out. Hmm. Talk? Surely. Wait! You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its pippling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. <laughs> all mine. Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Done. Now we can go home. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. Seems you're not 
not exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. Thank you. 